Hello, Cancer. Welcome to Creators on the Crest. I'm Stephanie, and this is your reading for July 16th through the 31st. Today, we'll be pulling a card for your overall energy. We'll take a look at your energies, the energies connected to you, and then how those mingle and dance in the middle. We'll close it off with an oracle card from the Sacred Geometry of Relationships Oracle. Do keep in mind, these are general readings. Take only what resonates. You can check out your sun, moon, rising, and north node for additional context and texture. And in the description below, I will have links to personal readings, donations, and connecting on social media. Okay, Cancer, let's get your overall energy here. You got the Ten of Pentacles for your overall energy. So something is really coming together for you in the material and physical world, Cancer. This feels like an attractive energy, but in a really stable and grounded way for you. I really am picking up some nice vibes from that Ten of Pentacles, just like you're really putting all the pieces together. You may not feel quite yet like, like it's all there, because I do see maybe a little doubt in your energies here, but the energy certainly is here. On your side, you get the Sun, the Nine of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so that Nine of Wands is where I see a little bit of doubt, maybe a little bit of like caution, but that's not atypical of a Cancerian energy. Sometimes they do tend to be a little more on the cautious side because they wanna feel safe. They wanna see it, feel protected and um, they wanna feel that wholeness of the Ten of Pentacles. The Sun though, the happiest card in the deck, lots of joy, lots of you opening up to that. And the Ace of Wands, a brand new passionate beginning for you, something really igniting. I feel like this is you kind of being ignited by the higher force. In traditional Christianity, they would use the term Holy Spirit. This is you feeling energy moving through you in that way, divine energy. The person connected to you gets the Hanged Man, the Four of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. They've maybe been in a place where they've been a little stuck or having to be a little more reflective on what they're focused on, maybe having to change their focus a bit. Um, they may have had to kind of turn away from something and or and or in a place where they're having trouble seeing or accepting what is being offered to them from a place of, of love and understanding. And then they get the Knight of Swords. So this is them rushing in a very hurriedly manner towards something. Um, and this could be their own goals. Maybe they've had to refocus in on themselves and their own goals. And while that, that's been kind of hard from, for them and they've been a little resistant, they're now showing me like a beeline toward what they want to do. In the connecting energies, you get the Page of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Wands comes in and this is the energy of movement. So there are a lot of changes going on in this connection. This connection is in a certain kind of flux. I think this is new for both of you and maybe a little, um, well, it just may be a little ungrounding right now or ungrounded. The connection may feel that way because things are spinning. Things are kind of spinning. You've got things, they've got things, and then in the connection, things are kind of different and they're spinning in a way that they maybe haven't before. So it may feel like, oh my goodness, that may be why I was kind of picking up you weren't feeling the full effects of that Ten of Pentacles, which is a real solid, secure, grounded, um, complete kind of energy. With the Four of Pentacles here too, um, there may be this... Uh, there may be financial struggles going on in this connection. There may be the desire to build and, and try to build more wealth and try to build more security there. Um, again, that's, that's the kind of energy that kind of factors into, there may be a little doubt around this Ten of Pentacles. Maybe the two of you, as you're each kind of going through what you're going through here. You're, you're at possibly different stages and your transformation cancer has kind of caused this person to have to refocus and it's 
the energy and the connection, it's moving, um, but I don't know if we see where it lands quite yet. So let's clarify. Let's look at this sun energy on your side, the page of pentacles and the two of cups. Yeah, you, you desire, you know, a happy, fulfilled connection. And not just with necessarily a romantic partner or this person um, whose energy is connected to you, but you, you desire that in your partnerships. And you're willing to do the work on yourself to nurture that. Uh, so, you know, the overall energy of the Ten of Pentacles, you're showing me I'm working on it. I'm working on getting into that place of, um, you know, really embracing the stability within myself and then utilizing that from that place, you know, manifesting my place in the world. So it's kind of this inner outer as within, so without kind of alchemical process happening for you here. Very beautiful, very needed. You know, the page is the next step after the 10. So it actually looks like you're doing this, whether you fully believe it or not. With the nine of wands, with that doubt, I was kind of getting that doubt, kind of getting that like, mm, can I trust this? Um, it's clarified by the temperance card and the three of wands. And these are, these are more of a... Um, the word balance wants to come out but that's not what I mean this is like this is a and it's not a pause it's not a full stop pause at least I think you're aware actually of the doubts you have and you've been kind of hard on yourself about them so I would say the energy of temperance and the three of wands is coming in with the energy of grace, of giving yourself grace. It's almost like because you're so focused on feeling complete and this feeling of happiness and, you know, really demanding this in, in yourself and then in your partnerships, you, you might have got a little too hard on yourself and it's caused it, when you do that it causes you to doubt because your focus is what you did wrong instead of what you've done right here cancer so there's this the temperance comes in and says hey wait a minute we need a little grace here and you need to focus on the things you've done right and how far you've come let's look at this ace of wands the seven of wands and the knight of pentacles so there's a little bit of a defensive feeling around you connecting in with this divine universal life force energy that is trying to flow through you and help ignite you. And your defensiveness slows it down. <laughs> it's, it's an ignition that's gonna happen one way or another I think there has it has to do with maybe you recognizing that you can hold more, that you can do more, that you do have more capacity, that it's all in how you're delegating your energy in your everyday life. So this to me feels like the wisdom that's coming in from the universe and your greater being cancer is to say, Look at where you're delegating your energy in your day-to-day -day life. And is there ways that you can simplify? Is there ways that you can build efficiencies in how you're dishing out your energy? And for the places where you feel drained, how can you stop those up, right? And the places that fill you up, how can you embrace that? It's almost like you're shutting yourself down a little bit here because you just don't know if you can handle it all. But you can, it's just a, there's a redistribution of energy here that wants to come in. 
Let's look at the hanged man for this other person. Yeah, this person has been on pause to do with this relationship, most likely. They get the two of swords and the lovers. They've had a lot of confusion about what's going on here. They may be very confused about what you're going through and how you're being ignited and how you're dealing with these, these pressures and, and these pressure releases and, you know, the grace and the, you know, um, the doubt, it, you know, these are huge energies you're going through. And I think because you are reaching for that wholeness and completion and because you are willing to put in the work, it's probably changed the dynamics of your relationship with this person. And so they feel a bit confused. Like, who is this new cancer? Who is this? This this may be different. This is seeming and feeling different than the cancer I've always known. For the Four of Cups, they get the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I like this energy coming in for them because it shows them moving from, okay, I'm not going to receive what the universe wants me to receive because I want to look over here. And if the love doesn't come, maybe they're looking at you for all the love and fulfillment instead of looking within. And this could be connected to childhood energies for them, it appears. Um, they may have been they may have been given love and energies, but there was some sort of maybe hook with that growing up. They've got something to work through here. It's very personal to them. And I, I do like that they're being offered this opportunity by the universe. The King of Pentacles comes in and says, hey, this is the way to stabilize your energies. And it would be for them to focus on receiving from the universe, not necessarily focus on receiving from you, okay? So they may be misplacing that a little bit, not realizing that if they focus on receiving from the universe, it will enhance this connection. Let's look at what they're beelining toward. Are they running toward or away from something here? The Knight of Swords is clarified by the Two of Wands and the Knight of Wands. Yeah, I, I do feel like this person is going towards something and I feel like their energies are shifting toward focusing on themselves. This is, I do sense more of a loner energy. Uh, two nights here, so very active um, energy with, um, <sighs> with them maybe still figuring out how they're going to manifest this in their own lives. That's okay. That two of wands is a more contemplative. This could be somebody that stays up in their head a lot trying to think from what I can see in their energies. They may do that, but there's a whole lot of movement here. So it's almost like the movement and the action is overcoming their thoughts, which is, which is good in this case. Okay. For the page of wands and the connecting energy. So we have all this energy swirling and circling around. Maybe nothing feels completely landed. On your side, you get the seven of pinnacles. This is that inner growth that you've been nurturing. It's it's your capacity. It's what you're building. It's what you're growing. And you're really tending to that. Okay. That is, that has a lot of attention on your side. So it could feel to this person like you've kind of pulled away. Oh, there's cancer's different now. Cancer's doing something different. On their side, they get the empress. So maybe they're looking for you in the way that they've always connected to you because I feel like the Empress is your energy. And that's why things are topsy-turvy topsy in the connecting energies are not even topsy-turvy, just circulating right now. Um, I don't think they're able to grasp onto that energy because you're tending to something in newer energies here. You're tending to something that is more potent for you, is more complete. It's a more complete representation of your life and they may be used to an older version of you. So they may be adjusting. For the Four of Pentacles on your side comes in the Ace of Cups, on theirs the Three of Pentacles. So they're showing me a willingness to work on things, to work on things. The Four of Pentacles is about saving and investing and it could be monetarily or it could be into this connection. Um, you're focused on making sure your cup is full, that what you're able to offer comes from a place of wholeness. That would be that 10 of pentacles and fulfillment. Um, and they're just plugging away working, but they do show the, the sense that they do have the intentions of collaborating and putting effort into this. 
Okay, Cancer, let's pull you a card from the Sacred Geometry of Relationships Oracle to close off your reading today. Cancer, you got the number 39 card, Surrender. Surrendering in a relationship takes trust to grow genuine closeness. We must risk vulnerability. True surrender means opening the heart and it is the heart we most fear getting hurt. Many people continue in a loop of seeking deep connection with others yet are too afraid to get their hearts broken that they never truly surrender and open up and thus they never find the intimacy they so desire. When we are firmly rooted in ourselves, in our own connection to a higher power or in a belief where we are part of something larger and greater, we feel we belong and can never really be broken by another. We might temporarily hurt, but just as another can never be responsible for our happiness, they cannot be responsible for our pain. Wow. Okay, Cancer. So here at the bottom of the card, it says the energy of surrender supports us to let go of illusionary control and yield to the flow of love and life. Very interesting here. Very interesting because... And I especially liked what it said at the end about you focusing on, you know, allowing yourself, allowing this higher power, allowing allowing the higher force to ignite you, to come in. You're a little defensive to those energies. And I feel like that is, that's what's affecting you the most right now is that something wants to come in and you're afraid you can't handle it, but the universe is like, hey, you can handle it. Cancer, it's been a pleasure to do this reading. What an honor, and I'll see you next time.